relevant costing and use of materials. So if there is a decision involved uh, under consideration and the decision actually needs some raw materials, let's have a look at how relevant costing will help us to identify it, how much cost of materials is relevant for the decision and how much cost of materials is irrelevant for the decision. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand um, about the material costs. So for example, if there are any materials already held in the inventory, remember to ignore any value or cost associated with existing stock and consider it as sunk cost. So for example, if we already have 100 liters or 100 kilograms in our inventory, so any amount of cost involved in those 100 kilos or 100 liters will be considered as sunk cost because these have been purchased in the past. Remember, materials, raw materials as the physical stock is not sunk. Only the cost associated with this stock is sunk. Secondly, if existing materials are not being in regular use, so we have the materials in the inventory, but they are not being used in the other projects. Then there is no, and there is no future use. Okay. Then only relevant cost can either be opportunity cost or the disposal cost, selling value of these materials. If existing materials are in regular use that we are already using in other projects, but we also need these materials for this new project, then the replacement cost or external price becomes a relevant cost. Let's have a look at a short example to see which cost of material is relevant or otherwise. So a new job needs 100 kilograms of material X and 50 liters of material Y. There are 50 kilos of material X in existing inventory and are being in regular use on current jobs. These were purchased at a price of $4 per kilo. Now, this was I was talking about that any cost associated with the existing stock is irrelevant. So these were purchased $4 per kilogram sometimes in the past. This $4 per kilo is irrelevant. External price of material X at present is $6 per kilo. Another 100 liters of material Y are also in inventory at a cost of $2 per liter. Now this $2 per liter cost of the material Y is also irrelevant. But there is no future use of these materials. Meaning, what can we do with these materials? Either keep with us or sell them. So if we don't sell them and we use them in the existing projects, then these materials can be sold. This would become the scrap value will become the opportunity cost or the relevant cost. Calculate the relevant cost of materials on this new job. So here we go. First of all, we, we are looking at inventory price of $4 is sunk. So it is not relevant. Okay. At the moment, um, materials are in regular use. Therefore, the price, be, the price, external price or replacement price becomes relevant. So let me go back. How much material we need? It's clearly given here. 100 kilos of material Y are in inventory. So 100 kilos times by $6 is relevant. Now the material Y. Now inventory price of 2 is sunk. As the existing materials are idle and not required in any other job, therefore sale or scrap value will become the opportunity or relevant cost. So 50, 50 kilograms into 0 0.5 and the relevant cost will be $25. So it's a very simple. I mean, you need to think that how the cost of material is affected as a result of the decision. So if we make the decision and we start working on this job, what the business will incur? Well, they had already purchased these materials, so they were not going to incur any new cost. But if they use the materials, why? On this new job, then they cannot sell it in the scrap market. And as they cannot sell it in the scrap market, this would become loss of money. And this loss of money will be charged as the relevant cost.